Hey guys, welcome back to episode three of the Let's Build. Building out our little village for old wells, glazes. And yeah, boy, built up quite the stockpile of logs, I see. Outgrown the houses that we have built with the little storage areas. Has filled all of those up. And we are well past the point of having room to put all this stuff. So today, in the first part, we're going to build a storage area. And it looks like it's time day. Um, so, we need to kind of make a storage area for this, st for, for logs. Uh, with it being a logging settlement, we need to make an area for that. Now, something that I have thought along the way here is how simple or how massive do we want this to get and for the first I, I, I want to let you guys know some plans for my future uh, this area I intend to populate quite a lot of this just about as far as your eyes can see right now I would like to have populated have it populated with all of this no different themes different areas uh, the story will evolve, and so will the buildings and and the uh, the structures and the villages themselves. So things will evolve, but just right for right now, we are starting out with a humble beginning. I know that it may seem like it's a little, it's kind of going a little slower paced, but uh, if I, I'm kind of thinking long term, and if you're going to watch this. In a playlist from beginning to end I want it to have a nice dynamic and I think we're we're, we're headed in the right direction uh, but I do have plans for this stuff I just want to let you know and looking at this mountain over and over and over seeing how glorious it looks my goodness plans for that all day every day um, so <clears throat> I want to start things out though I want to start them out with uh, a storage area for the logs so <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to keep it kind of close to the river here because essentially what we're going to have is not only a storage area for the logs but then a processing area and then something to send the logs on down on down the line and down the river so uh, keeping this kind of semi close to the river is going to be important in a good idea so where I want to put it I do want to give some space for some things here so I'm thinking probably if we set her right about let's see holy cow at the spider I just saw walking on the ground near me whoosh if we set it right about here I think this will be good and <clears throat> throughout we've had this theme of the logs kind of sticking up but this is an area where we are storing logs so we want to let's test out doing some cobblestone pillars one two three four five six seven eight nine Whew. that's kind of a big space huh We'll see. We'll see how this looks. I have some ideas here, uh, but we'll see. We will. We will see how this pans out. And then, if we took this over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, would be there. Want to knock that out? anything we want it inset into the ground we don't want to and I think I talk about this all the time but if you have a pillar you don't want it to be resting on top of the ground like this that looks weird 
okay especially if you don't have connected textures on like that that looks weird that's my opinion I think most people are on the same page as me with that you would go like that if it's on an edge like that always take it down one more I even in my worlds I even take trees I even take trees that I see that are just naturally spawned in and I if they're just resting right in one spot on top of an edge I usually take a log and uh, drop it down okay that's a pretty big area right there pretty big area indeed um, but we will find a way we will find a way to make it work I imagine might be too big might be but I, I want to think we're thinking storage here now what I want to also do is I want to if we went there and there one two three four five one two three four five okay now what this can be is this can be kind of uh, like a little shop area shoppe where <clears throat> let's say somebody works here you know and this is not all going to be cobblestone I'm just laying out frames so I can kind of get an idea of how I like it and what I think about it and even I'm thinking we'll keep this same theme going with the cobblestone pillars like that I think that can work okay so we've got a little bit of a structure here going for a commercial style looking building now we don't want to stray away from stone bricks too much and what I'm thinking is doing something kind of like this where it's kind of stone brick but at the same time it's a mixture of some textures as well this is a nice way to kind of add add something nice to your buildings if you mix because what it looks like it looks like it was originally stone brick but then as it wa as time wears on it, it kind of just erodes to this cobblestone look um, also um, and you have to kind of think you know if it's closer to the ground the weight's heaviest down there so maybe that'll be you know the, the area that gets the most damage um, okay wait a second oh yeah 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 we're okay we're okay here still uh huh and if we went there this is going to be an odd number the way that we have this set up right now uh, which is not ideal or an even number let's roll with it let's roll with it so cuz inside it's it's proper <clears throat> it's how we want it so leaving this open let's bring this over one more very good very good that gives us our odd number there and then oop oop if we knock out here here and we could potentially knock one out there if we wanted to very good very good okay so we've got a space there now what I want to do is I want to set from here to here With the wand let's get it out get this stone away give me a wand thank you very much if we set here position two please um, excuse me here we go position one and I tell you this broke as hell 
It'll take that, but it won't take this random block. Why? I'll tell you what, that's getting... The, the world edit is kind of having some trouble, I think. Second possession set, first position set. Okay, slash, slash, set. Can we do just fences or do we need... Yeah, slash, slash, set, wooden fences. Um, okay, one second. Okay, the block ID is set 85. There we go. Now, what we did there is we kind of cleared out some space. That went too low, too low. I don't know why. Maybe that's what I, maybe that was a mistake I made. Possibly, possibly, possibly. But, honestly, I'm not going to give them the benefit of the doubt because I have I have had some problems with world edit so far this series um, okay so fence that in you think it's you think it's done like that you're wrong that ain't done and then we'll just do that here as well hopefully one two yes Aha, wonderful, flawless. Whoops, why did you do all the way in there? You guys saw I did not do that. Okay, and we will go. Let's see if this one works. I, I'm going to be very careful. Why didn't I not even talk to it? Talk to it. I tell you now, it's not even talking. First position set. Second. Set the second position. I'll tell you. There's problems with this. It, you know what would be easier? Placing the damn fences. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We're going to place the fences. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. World edit, you failed me today. You failed me today. If you guys know what's going on there, let me know. I, I'm very curious to see why. Why is that happening? I'm not a fan of it. Need it to be reliable. But what we're going to do, just like in some of these other areas here, we're going to place these fences down. We're not going to leave it just perfect. We're not going to leave it uh, flawless this could definitely work and, and a lot of people you know you're building and you think oh I want to cage it in uh, and that is cool that is cool we'll cage it in like that it's a cool idea but what makes it even cooler even more cool is if you do something like that break out some areas you know just randomly knock out a few fences here and there and all of a sudden it's got kind of a a cool look to it see what I mean see what I mean I think I like that look I think that's pretty pretty cool and then we will just fence this up right here we don't want anybody getting in and at the same time we don't want any uh, weather hitting this we don't want this to be open to the air so we'll put a roof on her as well and I think as far as roof style let's see if we can't continue what we've done on some of the other roofs so you know how we have this design going in some places where we're putting the upside down stairs all the way around and then <clears throat> for our commercial buildings like this we're, we've kind of kept the roofs a little flatter and when I mean commercial buildings I mean the single solitary <laughs> building um, and if we just bring this over boom come on baby talk to it and I think if we wrap this all the way around that'll be good we're not gonna go super extreme and I, I I'm 
what I'm curious to see is if is this going to be too low? I know on this side the ground kind of comes up a bit, so it may be. But we'll see. We'll just build it, step back, take a look. Bring that around to right here. And let's take a look. Nope. That's good. That's good. Then we'll bring this go here. This one will be an easier one to build because we've got something to place against. The cobblestone's at a good height. Very good height. Mm-hmm. Very good. And why not bring this one over now? Now I've got two plans for this. So we've got we're gonna have the area where there's the shop here. Shope. Where <clears throat> you can kind of this is where the manager of the area would sit, right? Uh, but above that, I want to give him a house to where he can live. Um, of course, like I said, we want to have this covered. And if we... going to have to raise that cobblestone up one more level. But if we bring this up like this, I think we're going to be happy campers. Mm hmm Very good. So let's uh, let's call this for right here. That's we've got the idea of what we're gonna do here, and I think it's gonna work out very nice, very nice indeed. Bring these up. Gives you an idea of how it looks. Cool, right? Now we're getting a little more. It's it's looking a little more modern, not super super villagey. Now with this roof, what I'd like to do is kind of get a little crazy boom boom and if we went time day and came up again and then straight across where is it there you are you cutie pie straight across right into there Cool. This here could be possibly, possibly. You know, we might ditch that. Let's ditch that for right now. Let's ditch that and see what we can't come up with. Um, or, since we're ditching that, let's bring this lower. Yeah, I like that idea better. And then we will knock this one out. This is the whole this is where roofs join in. So you just knock out that that block right there and it makes a seamless transition. So yeah, that's cool like that. Bring that down. Very good. Simple, easy, easy roof right there. Nothing super crazy and it looks good. Looks real good. Boom. Boom gonna do it again upside down and then just bring the block over knock that guy out where they're joined together and you're good I would world edit the rest of this roof in but I'm not confident anymore in what it's gonna do it's gonna screw me is what it's gonna do it's gonna screw me blue get that very good so now we've got this and this is where a cool part comes into play because we've got this kind of big massive roof up here and what do you do with it this is a perfect opportunity to put our little shopkeepers house up above right up here so if we went one two three four five Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Six. Seven. One, two, th three, four, five. And then that's going to tie into there. But it'll still kind of be a five by seven. Boink. 
we really don't need to knock out those bottom pieces there I don't think here we go just gonna pop this baby on top who's gonna tend to the shop well only Wells glazes as of right now he's the only guy only guy in town for now foreshadowing possibly 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 a little bit okay we've got that very good now boom boom and I think this one maybe we'll put some logs here and this is where we'll tie in our log feature cool cool you guys see how it's coming together you see it let's try to do the same roof design uh, if we came here here and there just simple 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 boom boom all right and then this one will be easy we just bring it over to this side and really we can do the same thing bring this up and then from the bottom I think I'll have to do some editing a little bit to it to make it work cool do the same thing over here little lighting glitch but dinner bone gonna fix that don't you worry he will fix it he has to <laughs> and then bring this on over and without closing in all the roofs you get the idea that's kind of what it looks like so I'm gonna do a little touch up I'll be right back show you exactly what the finished product looks like okay so we've got that completed at least at least completed to the point that uh, I think it's it's gonna work for us I don't have roads to it I haven't furnished it out but I think it's a pretty cool structure I think it's a pretty cool structure especially with that mountain view in the background oh baby but as you can see this is where the logs were we have now transported them and moved them into the area there and it's looking nice looking nice so now the logs have a place to stay uh, just go in here go in here and didn't finish this up need to very good easy enough go in here wide open access totally open to this area here you know I can put uh, potentially put some shelves and stuff but uh, that's how this works easy to do with these logs you know you just place them out place them in different lengths and then uh, place some standing straight up and it kind of gives that effect looks cool and then you can go up here and these are the sleeping quarters I had an area here where it did that so I thought eh, let's just do that and then you can kind of still get a view of what's going on out there just a little bit just a little bit out the backside and then this is a cool little accident feature where um, you had this big roof that you're sitting on top of and you could just put this fence around and you got a little porch deck area not bad not bad at all so that's done that is done um, but rumor has it rumor has it oh wells was out dis out just doing some discovery checking out the forest and he stumbled upon some friends You're, uh, you guys are in for a tough life, I think. Maybe. Look at old Wells. He's just thrilled. Thrilled at his brilliant idea. Oh, you're halfway in the ground, midget. 
Midget villager. But uh, I gotta say, I gotta hand it to you, old Wills. That is a stroke of genius. A stroke of genius. You can't do it all yourself. I understand. I feel the same way. You can't do it all alone. You gotta have some helpers. So this is a pretty good idea. That guy, not too bright. Most of these guys are pretty slow in the brain, falling through the ground all the time, but that's okay. So anyway, what he has commissioned me to do, he said, just off on the side, he said, listen, there are a lot more of them over there. I want to bring them over, but we got to give them nice places to live. Not as nice as my place, but nice. So I get it. I get it. I understand. He's paying me well, aren't you, buddy? He's paying me well, so I'm going to get working on that. Going to make some houses for these guys. So we'll get started on that right now. Right, boys and girls. So, ladies and gentlemen, as well, everybody out there, here we have it. Here we have it. Got some houses in, and these are your pretty, pretty standard houses. Nothing special, but man, that mountain peering off in the background, gorgeous. Pretty standard houses. Nothing. Oh, there's old Wells peering down upon his minions. You happy? You happy? They got houses for the moment. Should be all right, but um, yeah. So this is this is just going to be kind of your standard house, 
And the reason why we did that is because, like I said last episode, these super tall roofs are a little much, especially if they're done massively. But what I do like on a very massive scale, as you look at this village from a distance, what do you see? You see logs everywhere. So many logs sticking out all over the place, which is great. That shows you that this city has an abundance of logs, which is very cool. Some things that I've kind of uh, done on the fly here, these little docks, these houses that back up to the, to the river here, giving them little docks, little ways to get out and access the water if need be. I think that's a pretty cool effect. Uh, it works, it definitely works. Um, there's going to be a lot of little, little detail that I'm going to have to add. Um, and I'm going to keep it very random. Like this side, yeah, it can't really fit a fence. So let's just put one right there. Put a fence right there. Throw a flower in there. Or two. Little area for some flowers. Here's a great spot for, you know, a little garden. Uh, if you saw in the time lapse, we did a little garden here as well. Um, just got darker. Make it day get dark so there's other things we can do just to differentiate all of these from each other just so we don't want these people well wells he said he didn't want them rich he didn't want them with beautiful houses so we give them kind of the standard we give them just something to something that they can live in uh, so this will work this will definitely work out well uh, and it's definitely populating now does that mean that we're done with houses of that type no no we're not we're going to add some more of those but we want to do them sporadically I'll probably do another couple of low houses here and then pop another one of those bad boys like over here uh, we're just gonna kind of play it by ear it's it's gonna be just a how does it feel but the city is definitely coming along next what we'll have to do of course, I'm going to spend some time on my own, kind of just going through and really working some things out, uh, filling these areas in, maybe moving some houses here and there. The, the last bit of the time lapse, these houses were too close together, so I scooted that one over one or two just to help with that. But now we've got all these people here, so many people, so we've got to do some things. Uh, we've got to think about places of worship. We've got to think about uh, as the as the village grows and expands and and Wells minions uh, grow. You got to keep them happy, right? So you got to give them a place of worship, maybe a, a place to for government to kind of have meetings and whatnot. No fear of battle yet, so no weaponry or anything like that is necessary. Um, but on the same front, with the logging front, we will have to create some buildings for processing the logs and transport. And I've got some really fun ideas as far as where this is going to go. Potential other cities and how they will blend together and what maybe they'll blend together to create a certain product. I have an idea. You guys will just have to wait and see. But anyway... We're coming right along here. Let's just take one last walk through so you guys can get a feel. Uh, a lot of people have said, give us a world download, and you will. Oh, you fools. You will get a world download. Come on out. Get out. Get out, you freaking fools. You will get a world download, but you will get a world download Possibly, I would say once this logging village is done, you'll get a world download, which is quite a ways away. Um, and then, you know, if we do something over here, once that's done, you'll get another one. They're not going to be very frequent, but you will get them eventually. You guys can kind of go through and do your own building or anything like that. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we will see you next time. B-double-O does not support slavery in any way, shape, or form. 
no way, no how. These villagers are going to get paid an honest, good wage. They're going to become rich off of what they're doing. So don't worry. Slavery is bad in every single form fashion. No slavery. They, the villagers are getting paid. No slaves. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. The big TV screens are linked to the Let's Build playlist. On the bottom left is the last Mind Crack episode where we had the 1v1v1 tournament in the arena. And on the bottom right, I know, you don't like basketball. It's totally understandable. You don't got to watch it. But a lot of people that don't like basketball do watch it, and it's their favorite series. So if you haven't given it a chance, I encourage you to give it a chance. Check it out. See what you feel.